Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to a showcase of all the outfits in Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag and I'm also going to go over here how to unlock these outfits. Because of various things... oh dear, battle is low. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, see... Because I'm constantly getting the error that the USB device is full and so I have to take it out and now it's telling me the freaking battery is low. So, sorry about this. God damn it, how do I plug this thing in? I can never work out how to plug this stupid There we go. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, this uh, is obviously the standard Edward Cloaks outfit. It's actually my favourite outfit as well. Um, I like the original outfit. It's piratey. It, nothing, there's no cloaks or anything. It's just this, as you can see. And uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. I mean, I like the blowpipe on the back. Because on some outfits, the blowpipe does look a bit odd, you know, on some of these outfits. But it looks alright there. So, anyway, next. So, let's begin. There's about... F there's about seven you can actually just buy. Um, about, like, the first seven you can buy with money. So, reals or whatever you call them. Uh, so, the first one is the brown cloak, which is, of course, the cheapest one. And this simply is like a brown jacket sort of thing, as you can kind of see. It looks pretty nice. I mean, it's especially suiting when it's like raining weather or something. Tropical storm or something. It's pretty nice. Like on the ship as well. It's not too bad. It's just a brown cloak, nothing much to it. Uh, then the pirate cloak pretty much is the same, but with a pirate logo. So, do you notice any difference there? Oh, well, you do now. So that is like the only thing that's different, to be honest, I think. I mean, I can't see from here if there's any minor detail difference, but... Yeah, hmm. Just, you know, walk around town, you know, you won't get arrested at all. Nothing suspicious about having a pirate logo on your back. And then the next one is the Crimson Cloak outfit, which I think you can buy for about 1,500 reals. Reals? The currency or whatever. And this is basically like a uh, a royal sort of pattern, sort of cloak thing. A bit unusual for a pirate to wear, but it's a pretty nice pattern. I don't really, like I say, I don't really use any other outfits other than the original one, but... You know, if you fancied it, then you could wear it, which is pretty cool. It's a bit too royal for a pirate, though, I think. It's a bit too royal red, if you know what I mean. Anyways, moving on. Uh, privateer outfit. Uh, this is another one you can buy. And there we go. And that's what it looks like. I think it's just this. Like, has it got a jacket on? Yeah, I think it's got like a, a different jacket on, and it's a black jacket. I think. I haven't actually used these jackets or outfits before, to be honest. So this is like the first time I'm seeing them. So hey. Um, but yeah, this is the outfit for the privateer outfit, which you can buy. Not too bad. Then the pirate captain outfit, which is uh, getting getting on to be the expensive side of buying outfits. But this is it. Not too sure what's different about it, but hey. I think it's just a bit more red, like red pattern in the middle. I think that's it red pattern down the middle the guns are obscuring the difference you know, red colour and everything more red I like red red's my favourite colour uh, the what is this ah oh, the merchant outfit this is I think it's like the pirate captain outfit except yellow green yellowish by the looks of it so like a yellow skirt or whatever you know bottom jacket thing it's nice. It's like, reminds me of the dyeing of the uh, clothes in Assassin's Creed 2. You could just dye your clothes and it's just, that's basically it really. It's just dyeing the uh, original clothing yellow or red or blue. I'm not sure if there's a blue, but that would be nice if there was a blue. And more colours. Pink. What about pink? Pirate going around in pink. Anyway, politician's outfit, this is m the most expensive and the last outfit you can actually purchase. Um, just purchase. No other requirements apart from having the money. And a politician's outfit, so this is obviously quite a bit different compared to the original one. Um, 
that's what it looks like. It's got a pocket. I mean, that's like the main notable difference as well as the, as the pattern, I guess, and everything else. Take a long, hard look at it. And so moving on to the Explorer outfit. Now this you uh, get by gaining, well, there it says gained by completing community challenges. However, uh, Ubisoft or Ubisoft hasn't actually released any community challenges yet, so it's impossible to get. There's actually a website called Assassin's Creed Initiates, I believe, which releases the community challenges on like a weekly basis or daily basis, I think. But they haven't actually given any out yet since it's not live or whatever so that's you know I'll put a video out if I do get this in the future um, but yeah for now it's just impossible to get unfortunately but you can kind of see what it looks like on the, uh, the thumbnail there the governor's outfit is gained by finding a social treasure uh, social treasures are found in various different places on various islands. You, you'll just be running along and then suddenly it says, Hey, you've found a, a social chest, which just spawns out of nowhere. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's pretty similar to the politician's outfit, but it's just a bit more red, I think. Red kind of stands out a bit more. I mean, it's, it's got the same sort of things on the uh, bum cheeks, whatever they are. Like... I don't know, holsters I think, maybe, holster straps or something, anyway, that's what it looks like, you know, moving on, to the officer's outfit, now this one, again it looks like the, uh, the politician's outfit, except even more red, it's sort of like a red coat red, uh, this is collected by the Kenway's fleet, by completing the Gibraltar mission I believe, it's something to do with Gibraltar, and um, yeah I haven't, to be honest, I haven't played Kenway's fleet a lot since I'm not online much, but it must take a, a while to get since um, each mission takes like 10 hours to complete. You know, you have to wait 10 hours to complete the missions and it would just take forever. So, um, yeah, that's the officer's outfit. It's like the politician's outfit, but more red from what I gather. And then the Templar armor. This is gained by opening the cage in the Great Inagua hideout using the five Templar keys which you gain um, after completing Templar hunts. There are five Templar hunt missions which are located in various different places like Havana, Kingston, Cayman Sound or something. Cayman, the other one near Cayman Sound and various different places but anyway I think it gives you more armor as well or something. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like. It's pretty unique. I mean, it always re it reminds me of a, re a bad guy. It, I mean, it really does look like a Templar uniform, you know? With the gloves and just the general style of the jacket. I mean, oh, I can't point, pull my gun out. But, like, it really does suit, like, a Templar assassin or something using um, pistols or something. I can really imagine using pistols as a Templar with these gloves and everything. So this is what it looks like, the Templar outfit. And again, this is one of those outfits which I say the blowpipe just looks kind of odd there. Without any like straps or anything. Looks just out of place. Anyways. Next is the stealth, out, uh, stealth outfit. And you gain this by completing half of the assassin contracts. The assassination missions, which I've done quite a lot of videos on, and um, so yeah, just complete half of the assassin contracts, and you'll get this outfit. So you can look like an assassin, a uh, 1715 assassin. It's it's pretty feminine, really. Is, is this outfit for uh, Kenway? I always want to say Connor, Connor Kenway. God damn it, it's Edward. Um, so yeah, this is what it looks like. It looks like a female running around with his bare arms and everything. Also looks like a sort of initiate, if you know what I mean, like a, not a fully trained assassin, but one of the lower end assassins. Anywho. Next we have the Mayan outfit, which is gained by completing all the Mayan stele, stele, stele activities. Um, I'll post a separate video to this, 
how well unlocking the mine outfit by you know just completing all these stellate activities which you find on various different places and there's 16 in total so you need to complete them all to gain this outfit and this is again a really unique one because of its armor style I think the arm pads and everything like the way it's all sort of like metal armor and all joined up and everything Anyway, I think it does reduce the damage taken by enemies or something. I think that's a description or something. Something like that. And next is a DLC, which is the Captain Morgan's Red Negate. Red Negate. Red Negate. Uh, this is... Uh, one of the unif outfits, uniforms or outfits, that actually remind me of the Captain of the Aquila outfit in Assassin's Creed 3. Mainly because of the hat and uh, the jacket, I think. It re really does remind me of the Captain of the Aquila outfit. Or the outfit which is worn when you're on a naval mission in Assassin's Creed 3. Um, this is a DLC item, I think I already said that. And you get it from one of the... I've forgotten the name of it. It's not Black Island. And it, it might be Mi Mystery Island. I think that's where you get it from. Mystery Island. The DLC. I'm not sure where you get it from. Probably GameStop. <laughs> like everything seems to be from GameStop in America. It's like exclusive at GameStop. Only at GameStop and everything. So I got the Buccaneer Edition um, from game.co.uk. And uh, yeah, the Buccaneer Edition has all the d three pre-order DLCs. So yeah. The DLC mission is also a bit of a disappointment for me really, it's just like a location with three chests, you just go around opening the chests and that's literally it. Not much to them. Uh, the Steed Bonnet's attire, this is the DLC again, this is Sacrifice Island I believe, which was actually the first DLC that I played. And um, yeah, it, it reminds me of that guy at the beginning of the game, I I've, I've don't know his name but that humorous guy I think he's British the ginger one the one with the ginger beard and everything yeah it reminds me of that with the green thing in the middle and everything um, again you know a pirate wearing a tie I have never seen that before but you know it's you know Edward Kenway anything could be going into our wonderful wardrobe of various different outfits the next one is the Captain Drake's outfit which is gained by Black Island, I think. Oh no, it's not Black Island. Damn it. This is actually Sacrifice Island, isn't it? Because that was the first one I did, and I remember this. So yeah, this you get from Sacrifice Island. And the one that I showed before was... Black Island. Oh, I'm getting confused here. Anyway, I'll put them in the description. You know, there'll be links and further descriptions in the description of the video. And then that will correct myself here. Um, so this is what the outfit looks like. It's not too bad actually. A few people in the uh, Sacrifice Island video said it's pretty badass. So it must be. Um, I mean the shoulder plates and the red ribbon down the middle and everything. It looks pretty cool. And um, so yeah, that's that one. Doob doob doo. -doo. Uh, Edward the Legend outfit. Now you redeem this on Uplay for like 30 points I think or something. Anyways, this is similar to the Captain Drake's outfit, and uh, with the hat and everything. So it doesn't look too bad. It looks alright. But, you can see what it looks like. Again, the blowpipe looks out of place. So moving on to the craftable outfits and this is the hunter outfit. Now this is actually my favourite outfit actually to be honest, second to the original outfit. I love this outfit. I was playing the Black Island DLC which I've uploaded already uh, with this outfit and it just felt so badass. I felt like a, you know, like a thief or something, especially with the hood up in the dark and everything. It was pretty awesome. Anyway, you craft this with like a Jaguar skin and something. If you haven't got this outfit already then the requirements will be there on the screen when you, you know, browsing through the clothes in your wardrobe or something like that. So this is what it looks like. All these craftable outfits also look 
pretty damn similar, to be honest. Kind of like all the purchasable outfits. Uh, the feline pelt, uh, it looks pretty numbed. <laughs> I think it just looks numb. You know, Edward walking around with, what is it, panther, what is it, oh damn, leather, you know, that, that stuff that he's walking around in. It looks a bit of a twat, to be honest, you know. Eh, yeah, well. Get his feminine side out. <laughs> so it's kind of like the hunter outfit as well, except with the leather. The panther leather. Leopard skin. There we go. Jeez. Yeah, the leopard skin. Uh, the shark hunter outfit. This is craftable with a bull shark and a hammerhead shark um, skin or something. Uh, again, the requirements will be on the screen if you haven't got it already. Uh, so this is... Uh, what it looks like. Not too bad. Not something I'd particularly wear. I think it's a bit too plain, but hey, it's another outfit. Moving on, we have the. Where are we? The whaler outfit. And this is gained by killing three white whales, which you need to be connected to the internet or at least logged into you play servers to for the white whales to spawn so yeah or you can actually buy the white whale skin for like 20,000 reals it's pretty expensive so this outfit if you were to buy it would cost 60,000 reals or reals however you pronounce it um so yeah this is what it looks like pretty similar to the shark hunter outfit as well apart from like the green thing at the bottom Doo -doo -doo. Ah, and then we're moving on to the previous assassin's attire, which is Altair uh, blah, blah, robes. Altair's robes, basically. And so, um, I'm not entirely sure how you get this, but you automatically get it if you played Assassin's Creed 1, but I, I deleted the save data, so I have no idea how they know, but I did play it for like 10 minutes, and that was it, but... Yeah, you get it if you have, like, Assassin's Creed 1 data on your system or something like that, I heard. Anyways, this is what it looks like, and I'm sure you know what it looks like anyway, the Altair robes. It's pretty basic, pretty assassin-y as well, obviously. <laughs> and then, of course, we have the Ezio um, Auditore outfit, uh, which is, I uh, yeah, the outfit from Brotherhood. I mean... Ezio had a f quite a few different outfits, but this is one from brother Brotherhood, as you may recognise. So again, you need data of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood on your hard drive to be able to get this. And like when you turn the game on, like when you start the game, it will say, you know, because of your previous actions in previous games, you can now use Ezio Auditore's outfit. And so this is what it looks like. I'm sure you know what it looks like. And so, guess who's last? Connor's outfit. Connor's outfit from Assassin's Creed 3. So if you want some nostalgia or, you know, whatever. I mean, don't feel two minutes ago since Assassin's Creed 3. It's just like a... This year's just gone super fast, but anyway. This is what his outfit looks like if you haven't played Assassin's Creed 3. Um, so, yeah. It, it looks a bit different. I don't know. It looks like he's taller or something. Something's different. And I can't put my finger on it. But anyway. That is it. That is all the outfits in Assassin's Creed 4. So yeah. More, more information will be in the description. Like I said. You know if I've said anything wrong here or something. Uh, so yeah. I hope this helped. Uh, if it helped with anything. And um, yeah. I hope you enjoyed. And thank you for watching. And bearing with me since I have like a cold, so you know, I can't breathe through my nose or, oh, nose or anything. So, anyway, thanks for watching.